Hey everyone, it is time for the mid-season premiere of Fear the Walking Dead. I know, it only took two weeks off, but nevertheless, it is back. And yes, I am wearing a new hat, because I bought it mostly as part of like a gag, but a lot of people really like it. So this might be a regular thing now, so enjoy. Oh yeah, this episode's going to be shot like an episode of The Office. How is Al editing this together? What I decided I could do. I had some caviar once. I didn't. I thought it tastes like bait. <laughs> I get that people don't trust us. I didn't trust her when she reached out. Now I'm reaching out. I think John Dory's like the Exchange. John Krasinski if we can make of that this one. Spread. Just the snarky comments. Was that your plan? Really help me? Our plan's finally working. We haven't stopped since. It's a straight up convoy now. We're en route to Tank Town, Momo. Mr. Forget Me Tang. Got it. I love how at this point he's just kind of accepted that he's Momo. Yeah. Logan thought we were stupid. He thought we'd fall for that good Samaritan shtick second time, but. He just wanted the gas for himself. And the dick squad. <laughs> but we got him good. Hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Take what you need, leave what you don't, mother effer. Karma's a bitch, Logie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically. What we did to him is not different than what we did to Clayton, but... Yeah, well, this one this deserved it. Good. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm helping... That looks like Sophia's shirt when she became a walker. That's how good I am at this stuff. Alicia learning Aikido. Yes. We'll find a place to call home. Eventually. But it's gotta be the right place. When's the wedding? I've got a good idea for a place, I'll tell you in the commercial. I think we've got more important things to do. And you're sure that's not a bite, or a scratch? Just going off the honor system here? What do you think it's done for you? Now, if you'd asked me that before we met Tess, I might not have had an answer for you. Where you doing that? Who's Tess? From The Last of Us? Why don't you come out and talk to us? I can't. I just... I don't know where they are. Then break the field. They? You don't know where what are? Oh, I think I saw this in the preview. <laughs> landmines. There's landmines. <laughs> yep, he's the Krasinski. Rain and dead. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of cool, but it is not practical. Okay, here's my idea for a perfect place to set up shop in the apocalypse. You ready? Consulate slash embassy. Think about it. They've got big fences around them. The buildings are usually pretty sturdy. They've got, like, lodging and stuff set up inside for anyone seeking asylum. They're usually pretty big buildings on top of that. You know, you could get a little garden going, like, on the roof, or even in the yard, because, you know, the fences. Yeah. I think some people on the show need to think about that. Maybe bring me in. I would be so useful in the apocalypse. I got so many ideas of what to do. Like I am so prepared. I would do so much better in the apocalypse than I'm doing in my regular life. I guarantee it. I'm surprised it took him this long to start playing this song. <laughs> it's, um, it's all they listen to. This is not music. <laughs> oh, that ain't just music. That's our anthem. He walked here to get it, which means he walked home. Something. 
something is not adding up with this whole thing. Tess needed to leave that house, but she couldn't. That's what can happen when you settle in one place too long. Things go bad. When you decided to oh. split up, I think the old June's coming back. That way. Naomi's coming back. Some people are saying these trees could be Madison. If you're reading this, you're still here. No one's gone until they're gone. I haven't killed since after the plane. I've seen that tree. I, hmm. I, I just... I didn't want to go back there. Well, you better get on it soon. Alicia, you're pretty good at killing things, so... Don't fall out of the habit. I mean, they don't want the mines to attract them, but the gun is. It's kind of counterintuitive. Just run over there and start stabbing. Yeah, well, he needs help right now, so... Maybe? Just, like, put it on the barrel. Just point it at the action. Ooh. I've ever seen. What? <laughs> <laughs> I could have blown off one and landed on another. <laughs> Did you walk right in there? That walker that came at Alicia wasn't just any walker. You did? Oh. Yeah, I had a feeling. I'm starting to think that's where it was going. Oh. That sucks. That's a problem. Hey, uh, John, you didn't happen to work on the bomb squad when you were a cop, did you? Yeah. You'd probably shoot the mine or something. Well, that wouldn't work. You know, at the moment that his foot comes off, John, the bullet will hit it and, you know, and disable it or something. You know, John. Yeah. Tess, we found the inhaler. But we're going to need you to come out here and get it. Oh, no, he'll be back. He can get it. He can help you, too. Nope. I didn't want to tell you like this. Ben's not coming back, Tess. No. No, he, he will. We found him. He had the medicine that your boy needed. He got what you needed. Can you come out here? Does he have plans laying around about the mines? Like some kind of blueprints? No. Which one? Uh, this one. Here? Should access the fuse. Yeah. Wait. Wait, that, that could trigger the firing pin. Uh, yeah, it's, it's this one. How sure are you about this? Classic red wire, blue wire situation. 50 50. 50. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Anyone got a lucky coin on them? They wouldn't kill them. Not like this. One. No way. Two. Tell them which wire to cut. I want to help. He's gonna be fine. He's gonna be fine. He's gonna be fine. He's gonna be fine.
She hadn't stepped outside the house in two years. But she did today. To help Morgan. All because we were there to help her. How do you feel? I had a feeling that was coming. Can I just say I'm glad that it didn't turn out that John Dory worked on the bomb squad? That would have been a little <laughs> cliche, a little bit of a little bit of a cop out. Yeah. No pun intended. Uh, uh -huh. So yeah, I'm I'm happy with the way it all worked out. You get one miracle per person, and John used his when he split the bullet in half. Was this a grand feast? I had this recipe on my fridge for years, and this is what it took for me to finally make it. He didn't think that everyone was bad. He just thought that we should stay put. Try to survive where we were. That help would come someday. He was right. Thank you. Too bad it didn't come until a day after he died. I want to know who's painting those trees. I want to find him. Or her, because I think it could be Madison. Is this Sarah? Okay. Okay. I was just making sure I wasn't, uh, what's his face? Logan. You never know where help is going to come from. But we all need it at one time or another. It is kind of nice to see everyone peaceful. You. You said you for a few minutes. I think you could answer my question before you met Tess. What did you mean by that? I knew I needed help with something. What do you need help with? Finding my girlfriend. Making sure these stories aren't just interviews on tape. Yeah, that too, I guess. We are out here helping. But this is bigger than any of us. And we can't do it on our own. That's why we need this tape. That's why you're watching it now. We need you, however you can, with whomever you can. Because that's how this lasts. When everyone starts helping... That's how we start helping everyone. So if you're watching this, um, pick up a walkie. Leave somebody some food. Do something. Do anything. Help yourself. Help them. Help us. Help everyone. Who's this now? He looks a little like Heath. Whoever he is, I hope he's a good guy. It, it's locked. You didn't see the, the giant lock on the door? Is that a motorcycle with a sidecar? Is this our group? Oh no, I Well, I guess Logan's still a bad guy and they should have shot him. Sure, he can't follow us. 
They didn't shoot you. Either they should have shot Logan or they shouldn't have ditched him. Because now he's out for blood. I don't know if he was gonna get him anyway, but. Either way, back to thinking he's bad news. Alright, that was the mid season premiere. I did enjoy the whole The Office kind of thing they had going on. I thought it was unique and uh... yeah I like that finally their plan to help people is starting to pay off they've actually found people to help but uh... I was going to give Logan the benefit of the doubt before but not anymore he's gotta go <laughs>